In this video, I will demonstrate how to flash the MUMMC to the SysMMC when the SysMMC or the OFW is not functioning or it is break. Let's get started. In this first section, I will provide a quick scenario in which the SysMMC or the OFW world is not functioning properly while the MUMMC is operating smoothly. If you experiencing this issue, do not use the level 1, level 2, or the level 3 unbreak guide. Instead, simply backup the MUMMC and flash it to the SysMMC. This method is less hassle than the original unbreaking guide. Now we will backup the MUMMC. If your MUMMC is SD partition type, please go to Tools, then USB Tools, and click on MU Raw GPP. Get the USB Type-C cable and connect the console to a Windows PC. To determine if you have a partition-based MUMMC or an SD file type, simply try to mount the MU Raw GPP. If you encounter an error during this process, it indicates that your MUMMC is of the SD file type. To address this issue, press OK, then select SD card. Get a USB Type-C cable and connect the console to a Windows PC. Download the NX9 Manager from the link in the description. If your MUMMC is partition-based, make sure you have mounted it earlier, then run the NX9 Manager. Click File, then Open Drive, then select SDGPP Hecate. If your MUMMC is an SD file type, ensure you have mounted the SD card drive and focus on the MUMMC folder. Then open the NX9 Manager. Click on File, then select Open File, navigate to the MUMMC folder on the SD card, then open the SD00 folder, Access the EMMC folder and choose the 00 file. Now we will backup the MUMMC. Click full dump and save it to the desktop. Now wait a while and let it sit until it reaches the point where it is backupping the user partition. We will manually stop it to save time. I've sped up the video, so please pay close attention to the crucial step. Watch closely. It is now dumping or backupping the user partition. As soon as it reaches about 1GB, you can stop the process. Now, let's check the dump MUMMC NAND to ensure it can be opened normally. And yes, we should now have a working MUMMC NAND that can be flashed or restored to the SysMMC. We can close the NX NAND Manager, disconnect the USB cable from the Windows PC, and continue to the next step. Now we will backup the MUMMC Boot 0 and the Boot 1. Close the pop-up window and close the page. Click Backup EMMC. Now enable the SD MUMMC raw partition and click the EMMC boot 0 and boot 1. If you see this error message, it means your MUMMC is set up as an SD file type. Please continue watching the video as we will address this issue shortly. After dumping the boot 0 and the boot 1, you'll need to move them to the correct location on your SD card. To do this, close the current page, navigate to the tools page, select USB tools, Disable the read-only option, and then click SD card. If your MUMMC is set up as an SD file type, follow these steps until you see an error message like the one displayed on the console screen. Once you see the error message, close the current page, navigate to the tools page, select USB tools, disable the read-only option, then select SD card. If your MUMMC is set up as an SD partition type, the backup boot files are located inside the backup folder. 
to proceed, open the backup folder, navigate to the alphanumeric folder, access the MUMMC folder, then copy the boot files. Now, get back to the alphanumeric folder, enter the restore folder, and paste the boot files. If your MUMMC is set up as an SD file type, navigate to the MUMMC folder, then open the SD00 folder, and enter the EMMC folder. Copy the boot files, then go to the backup folder, open the alphanumeric folder, and navigate to the restore folder. Finally, paste the boot files there. Now, it's time to restore the dumb MUMMC NAND to the SysMMC. Get into the USB tools page, ensure the read-only option is disabled, then click EMMC RAW GPP. Download a tool called Rufus and install it on your Windows PC. Once you have mounted the EMMC RAW GPP, it will appear as a detected device in Rufus under the device drop-down menu. For example, since I'm using an OLED model, it shows up as a 64GB drive. And now let's select the dumb EMMC NAND by pressing select. Change the file type to all files, then select the raw nan.bin. Next, click the start button. This process will take some time, so please be patient. I'm speeding up the video to save time. And then you can close Rufus. Next, we will reopen the NX NAN manager, access the mounted eMMC drive, and verify if the MUMMC NAND has been copied correctly. Then close the NX NAND manager. We can now remove the USB cable and close the page. Select Restore EMMC. Then select EMMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. And press the power button to continue. Close the page, then get into the console info page and check the EMMC partition. If everything is alright, get into the home page, open the launch menu, and try to launch the SysMMC CFW. And there you go. This is MMC is now working. Next, press delete on the pop-up page. And now we will do the system wipe on the sys MMC. Click payloads, then select lockpick RCM. Select dump from sysnet and press the power button to confirm it. Press any button to continue. Then use the volume button to move the cursor, and select Payloads. Select Tegra Explorer, and press the power button to confirm it. Press any button to continue, then select System Wipe. On this page, select SysMMC. Then press the power button to proceed. Then press any button to continue. On this page, select reboot to update.bin. And now you are free to choose the SysMMC, either the semi-stock or the SysMMC CFW. I chose the SysMMC CFW. And then go ahead to do the initial setup process. And you have finished repairing or unbreaking the SysMMC by flashing the MUMMC NAND. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.